Hey New Life Church, welcome to our track devotion for this week. I hope you're enjoying reading our Summer of Psalms. I just want to share Psalm 61 with you today and just some thoughts because when I read this psalm, I was, I literally said, God, this is me. This is how I feel. This is what I want. And so I just want to share Psalm 61 with you because it just ministered so much to me. At the beginning of this psalm, David says, Hear my cry, O God, listen to my prayer. We know God hears and we know he listens. We know that he is able to answer when we cry out to him. So David is crying out to the Lord here. And then he says, From the ends of the earth, I call to you. I just love that. From the ends of the earth, um, if you, if, if you study this, it, it says that David wasn't really far away physically um, from, from Israel. So he must mean in, internally. Maybe he feels from, from, from the ends of the earth of human understanding or, or his human strength or his resources. Maybe he's feeling despair or, or alone. We know the next line he says that his heart is growing faint. So we know he's having some, some type of emotions here. And then I just love this part. He says, from the ends of the earth, I call to you. Even though, he, even though he's having these emotions, even though he might feel faint or despair or, or gloomy, whatever it is, or alone, he's not giving in to those feelings. He's calling out to the Lord. He's not going to give in to the enemy's attacks. And, and so he does what only he can do. And that's go to God. And then he says, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. You know, when you're going through the storms and you feel like you're drowning and, and you're, you're paddling just to stay above, you want to get to a high place where you can stand above, you know, the, the danger zone. So David is like, God, um, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. And we know spiritually what that means. To us, that is Jesus Christ. There is no one greater, no one mightier. When we stand on that solid rock of Christ, the winds can blow and the storm waves can try to tossle us over. But we know we have a firm foothold on that rock because he is our refuge. He is our strong tower. And that's exactly what David writes in the next verse. Um, he says, for you have been my refuge, a strong tower against the foe. So cry out to the Lord, New Life Church, and say, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Lead me to, to the truth of Jesus. Lead me to his word. Fill me more with the Holy Spirit. So David is crying out, and now he is remembering. And he's remembering who God is. He is that rock. He is the refuge. He is that strong tower. And then he begins to, to reminisce. And he, he, he remembers that he wants to be in God's presence. There, there's nothing greater. Even when you're going through hard times and trials and, and emotions of despair or whatever your feelings are, long to be in the presence of the Lord and in the shelter of his wing, <laughs> like like a mother hen just protects her chicks under her wing. God does the same for us. And David is remembering all these wonderful attributes about God, that he is faithful, that he is strong, that he is loving, and he will protect us. So David starts out with crying, and now he's remembering. And now at the end of this, we see him um, knowing that he's going to be restored. If I don't know if he's totally restored at this point, but we know we see the beginnings of the restoration because at the end, uh, verse eight, he starts, uh, he ends with praise. And I will ever sing praise to your name and I will fulfill uh, my vow day after day. So he's being restored and he is praising God, even in the midst of the storm, even in, in the middle of whatever emotions he has, he is praising because he knows that's where restoration is going to come from, praising um, our, our holy, great, 
God um, who is second to none. He is the only one true God, and so you want to praise him. And then at the end, he says that he will fulfill his vow. And so that means he's not going to retreat back because of these attacks. He is going to push forward, knowing that he's going in the strength of the Lord, not his own strength, knowing that he is standing on the solid rock of, of the God who is his refuge. And, and he's not going to go in his own strength, in his own power, on his terms. It is on God's terms. And so we can learn a lot from David here. Cry out to God because we know God listens. Remember how great faith and faithful God is and how great his love is and how awesome his presence is. And that's always for us. We don't have to beg for it. We can enter in anytime we want and how that can lead to restoration and for us wanting to move forward and not backwards. Don't give up church, whatever you're feeling, um, whatever emotions you're having, whatever problems are coming your way. Don't give up. Don't retreat back, but push forward by crying out to the Lord, by standing on that solid rock of Christ, right? And by praising our Savior and our God for who he is, our one true holy God. I hope you're encouraged, New Life Church. I know I was when I read this psalm. So let's push forward and advance the kingdom of Christ. It's so great to be with you today. Keep reading your Psalms and keep being blessed. Remember, God loves you and so do we. Have a fantastic day and the rest of your week. Bye, new life.